Hey guys, so we are at the little monolithic dome village here in Italy, Texas. And we've been through all the buildings they could show us that don't have people in them. One of the things that I think is the most exciting is that they rent out little little mini domes. I think they're 314 square feet. They rent for $140 a week and includes everything. It includes power. The car going by. <laughs> And it includes electricity, it includes sewer, it includes garbage pickup and lawn mowing and that kind of thing. And so you can get into a really super insulated, cute little house as a rental. And we're gonna go in and see what one of them looks like. This is their visitor center, so you can see it because all of their rental units are Similar. occupied and there's a two month waiting list. So um, these domes are sprayed on an air foam, air form, so they, they do an, an air form, like a big bubble, and then they spray foam on top of that, and then they take and they spray concrete on the outside of that, and they take the form, and, and when they go inside, they then spray concrete on the inside as well, so that it is super insulated, tornado proof, earthquake proof, and probably child proof even. So we're gonna go inside and see what it looks like. Go ahead and follow me in. Okay, so it's a little bit dark in here, so just bear with me. So this is the most important thing about a tiny house. You need somewhere to be able to sit and be comfortable with your friends and family. It needs to be large enough that you have somewhere to have your downtime. So they also have, it's not a standard size stove, it's somewhat small, but it's, it's not just a, a hot plate and a counter microwave. They have a full sink, they have a little bit of storage, you know, it, it's, they have tile, and you can walk just about all the way to the wall before you hit your head. So even though it is a dome, you don't lose your head space. A little bit of an entertainment center, there's a little, I don't know, is this heating and cooling? No, it's just a cooler. Is it just the a cooler? heater Where's is below heater? it. Okay, so this is their heater. That's yep, cadet. So it's just a teeny little thing. And then you come all the way around, and the rest of it is bathroom. So you have a full, more than a full size bath, which is quite large. And again, you're not hitting. One of the things we do worry about is moisture because it is a sealed envelope. Um, however, I don't smell any mold in here. No, there would be no place to mold on, on the concrete. Okay, so let's none, none of the structure would actually mold. It would all be. And then here is, if you're really short, you have a walk-in closet. I don't think it would be a walk-in closet for John. Move the shelf up, but yeah. But if it was two people, it would be adequate space. If you had three, if you had a couple kids like we do, I think that you would fill the pinch. For one thing, uh, you would need to have bunk beds or something, and you wouldn't have a living room at that point. So I think as far as design goes, I think that maybe a tiny house that's built on one of those trailers would be better just because it will have a loft designed into it. I think if you were to put a loft in here, it would make it feel very claustrophobic on the main floor and claustrophobic in the loft. It's not tall enough for me. I think that the strength of this one is that it is weatherproof, uh, highly efficient, um, but I think you do actually lose a little bit of space because the walls are not straight because then some of your storage possibilities are a little bit limited. But all in all, I think, that, I think this is a great little design and inexpensive rent for somebody that is wanting a really cute little idyllic looking house for not very much and i know that some of them are actually movable he has some that are actually forms that are move movable they, they put they literally put on a trailer and trailer to your place there is the book written by the dude by the dude who wrote the book about the dude and the other dude He rents them out for 145 a month, and that includes everything. He pays for all maintenance. No, no, no. 145 a week. Sorry. <laughs> I'll start, start over. Sorry. Yeah. Right. So one of the really neat things here is that they have these little rental mini domes that are 314 square feet, and he rents them for 145 dollars a week, 
and it includes $140 a week. Head. <sighs> You're gonna have to bloop a reel on this one. Okay, so we're here at the little monolithic dome business slash village in Italy, Texas. And one of the things that I think is the neatest is that there's these little mini domes that are 314 square feet and they rent for $140 a week which is really good for rent but not only is it good for rent but it includes it's okay what is it what is it the battery no it's my phone 